You're watching Breakfast Television on City. Thank you so much for choosing us this morning. Game one of the Stanley Cup Finals tonight. And for the first time in franchise history, yeah, Jamie Clark's excited. The Washington Capitals have a shot at winning. And Calgary's Jamie Clark may be one of the reasons why. Okay, backstory. Historically, the Washington Capitals do very well in the regular season, but then they seem to underperform in the playoffs. But this year, after working with Jamie, the Capitals <laughs> seem to have found their groove. Coincidence? Maybe. Maybe. Jamie Clark joins us this morning, though, to talk hockey and to talk performance psychology. And right off the get-go, you do not play. I don't play. But hockey. you know how to perform. Well, and, and to, to your point yeah. earlier, I take zero credit for what sure, they have fair done. Enough. This, those, those players have done a, a, a fabulous job in yeah. taking this monkey off their back. But I did spend time with them. So how long were you with the guys then? Well, Barry Trotz gave me a call, their coach, and I think fundamentally he saw some similarities. My first attempts on Everest, I failed twice. Yeah. And it was uh, quite disappointing. The last two years, they've lost out to the Penguins sure. to get to the Cup. So he said, can you come and talk to us? And I figured, of course. So I flew out to Washington. First of all, spent some time with him. And it was more in the beginning about what I listened to versus what I said, just okay. to observe the players, talk to the coaching staff, to kind of get a feel of what's going on. And then we started sort of talking. And what I discovered was a lot of crossover. There's, you know, it's like you do cross training physically. Sure. You can also do cross, cross training psychologically okay like what I could learn from mountaineering would be applicable to hockey even though two totally different sports you could see the crossover so I talked about mountaineering how it would relate to hockey and hopefully it did some good okay so leads to my next question so you're dealing with superstar phenomenally in shape hockey players like Alexander Ovechkin for example yeah. who has been playing for 13 years spectacular world-class arguably the best hockey player on the planet right now. Some, of course, are Sidney Crosby, other players out there. But, I mean, how would you motivate a guy like Ovi? Well, I think for, in, in his case, he was quite interested in the whole mountaineering idea. He was interested in sort of the Russian background for mountaineering. And I was sort of planting seeds and talking to him okay. about the history of, of Russian mountaineers, how tough they are, sure. how uh, ruthless they are in their effort. And, and you could see him sort of take pride in that. Like, yeah, that's how I play hockey. Yeah. And he was a big strapping lad. And I think, you know, these hockey players are very, very thoughtful about what they're doing. It's a long season, no doubt. And they've been plagued by a lack of performance in the postseason. Yeah. But, you know, what I spoke about maybe was just pushing buttons, was okay. just hitting some triggers. Everything that they need to win sits inside these players. Yeah. And to your point, they're amazing athletes. The pre-game rituals, I traveled with them on a road game, seeing their whole day leading up to a performance, super impressive. And Is what I really saw, sorry to cut you off, no, no, what okay. I really saw was that everybody there can play the physical game, but it's the mental game sure. that gets the win. Okay. And, and that's what we talked about. And is it about developing those routines saying, okay, it worked one day, so you got to do the same thing again the day after the day, like that type of thing? Or I, I think it was, it was less maybe about some sort of hard routine. Uh, one of the key things, and you can kind of see it in the way the players are, are conducting themselves now, was this idea of this is very important. We, what we have to take this game very seriously, albeit it is a game. It's just hockey, sure. racing around in circles, shooting yeah. a puck in the net. Yeah. It's almost as trivial as mountain climbing, <laughs> running up and down mountains, useless activity. <laughs> However, it's very serious to them. So how do you simultaneously take yourself, not very seriously, but what you're doing seriously, and bring kind of a lightness of being? You can see that in players like T.J. Oshie. Yeah. That guy's always having fun. He's enjoying what he's doing. And it's nice to see them doing that now. They're not taking this lightly, but they're not taking themselves too seriously. And that balance can really unleash performance when it matters. Like, how do you perform your best when it matters most? And I think that's what they've tapped into. Nice. And I, it's safe to say that you're cheering for the Capitals at the Stanley oh, Cup. I'm so, I, I feel terrible, but I was hoping Winnipeg wouldn't make it because then I'd be conflicted patriotically and professionally. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, sorry, Winnipeg, but I'm now going to crush Vegas. <laughs> nice. I'm so excited. Go. Game one tonight. Puck drop is on, of course, Hockey Night in Canada and uh, Sportsnet, and it's on uh, Rogers Game Center Live, Sportsnet 960, the fan. Puck drop just after six. Yeah. Fingers, toes, cross knees, them all. eyes, Everything. all crossed. <laughs> Jamie's cheering for Washington. We'll see how they do. Game one tonight, as I mentioned. We have news, weather, and traffic.